A star in our cosmic neighborhood is about to explode. Not in millions of years, not centuries from now, possibly within our own lifetime. When it happens, it could suddenly appear in the night sky, shining brighter than almost every star you've ever seen. Astronomers are watching closely because this is not a random event. It's a predictable stellar detonation, a rare cosmic explosion that humanity has witnessed before and is about to witness again. But what kind of star explodes without dying? And why are scientists so certain this one is nearing ignition? Before we dive deeper into this unfolding cosmic mystery, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Deep Space Explained, because the universe is about to remind us how alive it really is. The star at the center of this story is called T. Coronae Borealis, located about 3,000 light years from Earth in the constellation Corona Borealis. At first glance, it looks unremarkable, invisible to the naked eye for most of its life. But T. Coronae Borealis is one of the rarest systems in our galaxy, a recurrent nova. That means it doesn't explode just once. It erupts over and over again, following a violent cycle that repeats every few decades. Historical records confirm massive eruptions in 1866 and 1946. Each time, a new star appeared in the sky almost overnight. But what kind of system can survive such explosions? And what exactly is happening behind the scenes before the blast? T. Coronae Borealis is not a single star. It's a deadly partnership. At its core is a white dwarf, the ultra-dense corpse of a star that has already burned through its nuclear fuel. Orbiting dangerously close is a red giant, a massive, aging star swelling toward the end of its life. The gravity of the white dwarf is so intense that it steals hydrogen gas directly from its companion. This stolen material forms an invisible layer on the surface of the white dwarf, slowly building pressure. But here's the terrifying question. What happens when a dead star feeds too much? The answer is written in nuclear fire. As hydrogen accumulates on the white dwarf's surface, temperatures rise to unimaginable levels. Eventually, nuclear fusion ignites, not gradually, but explosively. The result is a thermonuclear blast known as a nova. Unlike a supernova, this explosion does not destroy the star. The white dwarf survives, ready to repeat the process again. This is why recurrent novae are so rare and so valuable to science. But here's the unsettling part. Every explosion slightly increases the white dwarf's mass. And if it ever crosses a critical threshold, the consequences could be far more catastrophic than a nova. So why do astronomers believe T. Coronae Borealis is about to erupt again? Because the system is showing the exact same warning signs observed before its previous explosions. Over the past few years, its brightness has dimmed unexpectedly, its energy output has shifted, and hydrogen accumulation appears to be reaching a critical limit. In stellar terms, this system is flashing red warning lights. Scientists can't predict the exact day or hour, but statistically, the explosion window is open. The fuse is burning. And when it ignites, the sky will change. When T. Coronae Borealis erupts, it's expected to brighten from an invisible magnitude 10 to around magnitude 2. That means it could shine as bright as Polaris, the North Star. For several nights, a new star will appear where there was nothing before, visible without telescopes, shocking anyone familiar with the night sky. Ancient civilizations once believed sudden stars were omens or messages from the gods. Today, we know better. But the emotional impact remains the same humanity witnessing a star explode in real time. This explosion is more than a visual spectacle. Recurrent novae play a critical role in cosmic evolution. The material they eject enriches space with heavy elements, 
the same elements that form planets, oceans, and life. Even more importantly, systems like T. coronae borealis help scientists understand how type 1a supernovae are born, the very explosions used to measure the expansion of the universe and discover dark energy. While this system is not expected to go supernova anytime soon, it offers a living laboratory for studying how stars cross that dangerous threshold. So when could it actually explode? Scientists can't predict the exact day, but they can define a window. Based on historical behavior and recent changes in brightness, many astronomers believe the system has already entered its eruption phase. Some estimates pointed to late 2024, while others suggest 2025 as a highly likely moment, with the possibility extending into 2026. In simple terms, we're inside the danger zone now. The countdown has started, even if we don't know which second hits zero. No one knows exactly when the explosion will occur. It could happen tomorrow, next month, or within the next few years. But when it does, astronomers will detect it instantly, and the news will spread across the world within hours. Telescopes, satellites, and observatories are already watching. And the most incredible part? You won't need a telescope. Just clear skies and the knowledge of where to look, between Hercules and Boötes in the northern sky. For a brief moment, humanity will watch a star ignite. So keep your eyes on the universe. Subscribe to Deep Space Explained. Leave a comment below and tell us, will you be watching when the star explodes?